Uh, Nathan Matthews, I'm the head men's volleyball coach here and I graduated in 2019. Uh, being at Wittenberg um, and being an athlete here was the first time uh, in my entire life that I felt comfortable um, and safe in, in coming out and, and being who I really am. Uh, it's hard to understate how big of an impact um, that had on my life. Um, and I'm obviously super grateful uh, that I had that experience here. Um, but I also know that in sports more generally, that not ev every athlete um, has that experience. Um, I think sport in that sense has a really long way to go still. Um, so, I mean, one of the things that made growing up and accepting myself uh, so difficult was I think that I really wanted to be an athlete. Um, I think there were a lot of things, other things that I could have pursued, other activities that um, it would have been a lot easier um, than wanting to be an athlete and being a gay kid. Obviously, I think that's something um, that I really like to see change in sports culture and I think a lot of the things Wittenberg and Wittenberg Athletics is doing um, is helping to push that change but like I said there's definitely um, a lot of progress left to be made. Being a openly publicly gay man coaching uh, men's sport it's not lost on me that that is a really really small list. Um, so I think the first thing is I hope that by being a visible um, example um, that that can, an advocate, that that can uh, start to change that. And then also um, hopefully being an example for young athletes, um, an example that like I, I really wish I would have had um, when I was younger. Um, and then the second thing is it's really important to me uh, to, to demonstrate uh, courage, authenticity, um, and just living um, you know, the life you want to live and being true to yourself um, and demonstrating that to my athletes. Um, I think you know, maybe there's some advantage to be had by like, uh, you know, hiding and, or, or not being true to myself. Um, and at the end of the day, I really feel like that would be doing a disservice to myself um, but then even more so um, to my athletes, um, that I'm really trying to push them to grow and, and be the best version of themselves. I think, I definitely think Wittenberg um, does a pretty, pretty good job um, with the resources we have. Um, I know we've got, we've got a lot of um, resources outside of the athletic department on campus and I think we're starting to do a better job. Um, of integrating those and making sure student athletes are aware and have access to those. Um, the All Stripes group um, that we're trying to get going, that is very much um, uh, Bridget's idea and I'm happy to help her um, as much as possible with that, but I think basically that group is just going to be a, a athlete specific um, pride type group. Um, just to even more so try and get athletics involved um, with a lot of the great diversity um, and inclusion stuff that's going on on campus. In my experience, um, I mean, Wittenberg was such a, such a welcoming um, place where I really did, really did feel safe um, after not feeling that way for basically my whole life um, so I would definitely um, yeah I would definitely say that you know this is a great place this is a great place to be in that sense um, and I also really appreciate um, that this is a place that cares about making a, a positive um, difference in the world and I think I mean this is a great example of um, our athletic department you know Maybe, yeah, not, not being scared to take a stand and, and try and make a positive um, impact, so.